Perfect Saturday is getting to go for a run in the morning. Um, then probably followed by some time with the kids and we take them to the park. And if the weather's nice, then like cooking or eating outside uh, in the evening. That's, it's not very complicated, but that, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good Saturday. Um, my dream vacation is hard because the world is very big and I have seen very little of it. Uh, so a few places that I'd like to go, um, Northern Europe, like Norway, uh, the kind of Scandinavian countries and into Germany. Uh, that's where a lot of my wife and I's ancestors are from. Um, on the other side of the globe, Japan. This has always been kind of fascinating to me. Um, and then domestically, like I've never been to the far northeast portion of the country. Um, so I'd, someday I'd love to travel again. I am in youth ministry, and so uh, I would have to say pizza, because pizza can be so very many things. Um, you can do taco pizza, you can do dessert pizza, um, so you can do breakfast pizza. So yeah, definitely pizza. Uh, my favorite sport to watch is basketball. Um, I like all kinds of basketball, high school basketball, college, NBA, uh, WNBA, and I like to play basketball too, but on a kind of a daily basis, I like to run, and if I can get it in, uh, play some golf. Uh, best book I've read in the last year is uh, Dear Church by Lenny Duncan, uh, which we are doing in uh, a book club here. Uh, it's it's a tough book. It's not a perfect book, but it gives us a lot to think about as people of God. And for me, as a pastor in the ELCA, um, that was an important thing for me to read. I think I'd like to meet Jimmy Carter, uh, former President Carter just because he seems like a wise man um, who has done so much after being president um, with you know, Habitat for Humanity and um, just kind of global advocacy. Um, so I'd love, to, I'd love to talk to him or maybe just listen to him tell stories. This, this is hard because there's lots of things that I love and things that are different also from season to season. But I think one thing that I consistently am sort of blown away by is being invited into the most important moments in people's lives um, from weddings to funerals to baptisms to uh, ministry in the hospital when someone's sick. Uh, it is always humbling to be invited into someone's life like that, to talk about what God is doing in their life and to listen to their stories of how they've experienced God's presence in their lives. Um, I like the season of Lent. Um, some people experience Lent as a downer. Um, because you know we're reminded of our of our mortality and um, we can be kind of austere, but I like the refocusing that Lent does for us. It kind of strips away some of the the noise and the I would say even fluff of modern life and asks us to focus on the core of our faith and the core of who we are as people too. I think. I have been surprised by the way people have felt engaged in 
digital content in terms of worship. Um, I am a big fan of big rooms full of people. And so for me to lead worship to an empty sanctuary is kind of hard sometimes, but to hear that people are feeling connected and um, God's presence in these, in these digital services has helped me experience God's presence um, in a new way uh, as we sort of have community even though we're separated by, you know, distance and, uh, and the medium. Once the pandemic is over, um, I am looking forward to making a bunch of noise in a room full of people. Uh, so many of the things I love are big gatherings full of people that are loud. I'm looking forward to singing in, in worship together and not worrying about it. I'm looking forward to yelling at a sporting event. Um, I'm looking forward to talking loudly in a crowded restaurant and just hearing sort of life happening around me too. That's, that's definitely what I'm most looking forward to.